delighted to be joined by NBC Songland standout JT Roach, who is a Madison native. Yep. And we just learned that your song was picked up by One Republic. How does yeah. this feel? It feels surreal. And as we know, it takes strength and, of course, agility <laughs> to finish a ninja chorus. A lot of country girls are getting ready to shake it for Luke Bryan tonight. First, they got to get here. You can see the rows of cars People are definitely waiting for the nice weather here. If we can take a look. Yep. at all of the people here. It never ceases to amaze me, the turnout for concerts on the square. There in the foot pedals, it goes up through your legs. All of this is really amazing. I mean, one thing I learned is that maybe I could lay off the Wisconsin cheese. Here goes my uh, gluten-free diet that yeah. I've been trying. That's what I've been doing, that's why I said you need it. <laughs> I just don't know if there's anyone food. that could hate mac and cheese. Exactly. Ian Dukes has made his way to the picnic. Yeah. He saw we had guacamole, and so he came yeah. on over. I'm not surprised you found the food and the drink. <laughs> one of your, uh, the wine is over. Things in the corner. <laughs> oh, it's heavy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bringing some extra thrill to Super Bowl 52 festivities. Woo! <laughs> One more try. You can't come to a car show without hopping in one of the sweet rides. Check this out. This is a 1961 Corvette. Look at this color, baby blue. This is actually a rarity. <laughs> Star Drake has revealed that he's a father. I love all things ninjas. This course is challenging, let me tell you that. Here we are with co-owner Mike Mo. Now, Mikey, you are a ninja yourself. You were on Ninja Warrior back in the day. What yeah. made you want to create this for kids? So my wife- That brings me to the question, do you have any fears and what are you afraid of? Ooh, we're just going deep right away. <laughs>designed to push you physically holistic view of fitness and mentally don't be afraid to fail orthodox gym is located on madison's north side it offers yoga jujitsu and group training All right let's go let's go a huge need and desire for this type of training co-owner sarah welter is talking about this <laughs> their obstacle course. I don't even know what half of this stuff does, to be honest. Which is drawing in curiosity from neighbors like Mary Cullen. So yeah, no, I definitely want to come check it out. Lucky for me. It's like that's hot lava. I was able to. <laughs> so this is the pyramid. This is something that you commonly see at a Tough Mudder or on Ninja Warrior, and I'm going to give it a shot. <laughs> Woo! I accomplished one task. <laughs> It's like a ladder. Getting down was another. But if I were on Ninja Warrior, I would be want to be doing this at a faster pace, huh? Next was the boulder wall. I'm scared. <laughs> Which was the hardest for me. I don't know if I can move. Because <laughs> it really tested my mind. Oh, I feel like this is a really good mental workout, yeah. too. Oh, I'm sweating. Whoa, my hands hurt. <laughs> then it was on to the rope. Then, nice. ah, the rope. <laughs> Gonna skip this one. Go to the climbing wall. Hopefully we'll, we'll be able to spark uh, and inspire some new interest. There's a lot of people that always dream about training like a ninja warrior. The gym owners hope to inspire people and to push them to get outside of their four walls. <laughs> By maybe jumping on a wall. <laughs> One more try. Oh. <laughs> oh. Woo. So it is super awesome, very difficult, a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Okay, how do I get down? <laughs> In the small city of Prairie du Chien. Yes. <laughs> not a lot goes unseen. How are you, Hi. sir? How are you doing? How are you? Good. How many do you need? This burger stand is no exception. 
Pete's hamburger stand. World renowned. <laughs> Would you like onions on them? Bill Hoosier tied the knot with Mary, <laughs> whose grandpa started Pete's 60 years after Wisconsin became a state. Four without Barb, did you say? During a hot day in 1909, Pete Gokey added H2O to the grill. The rich taste right. has created a rich history. Mm. We all have to start out peeling onions. Can I help you? People come from all over. We just had people here from Argentina. To get a taste of these burgers. Everything they say it is. <laughs> and that's a pretty simple formula, but it's been working for 110 years. And it's keeping them busy. May I get her? Yeah. Hi. Hi. May I help you? You learn how to multitask. All together I get 65. And be prepared. We're flip-flops. As the hours in this small stand soar by yes. in the summer. Yes. Everybody that works here has another job. Hi. This is because we're only open weekends. We're only open Friday, Saturday, Sundays. Mary hopes that one day their kids will want to take over. Yeah. After all, someone has to keep their titles going. The number one burger in Prodigine. <laughs> in Crawford County. Thank you. I'm Morgan Wolf. NBC 15 News. Thank you. You're welcome. Taste buds evolve, and so has the food industry. Meat, burgers, and brats aren't alone anymore. Plant-based options are here to stay. Dietitian Dina Preble breaks it down for us. Well, this, what is so popular right now? Plant-based diets. We hear a lot about it, promoting health and just being friendlier for the environment. You know, there's lots of ways that you can navigate that. There are some that are beans and peas, soy-based, the happy little plants, the Impossible Burger. Um, we have tried the Impossible Burger, and so can you just explain to people at home exactly what these are and what the creators were going for with it? People at the Impossible Burger sought out to find a way, scientifically, to make uh, a soy-based patty taste like the real thing. There's a heme in our blood, which is iron. They found it in soy, and they took it out, and they made it, and they put it in the burger so that it has that irony, rich, beefy flavor that you get when you eat beef. But beef is still king. Beef is still king. It's, you know, it's the king of the grill, certainly. And you want to explain why? Because it has more of the protein, less of the sodium, correct? Correct. In its natural state, it is very low in sodium, and there are many, many different lean options out there. Comparing the Impossible Burger to an 85% lean burger, the nutritionals are the same. So if you're going to want to eat something a little leaner, a little healthier, you know, go for the 93% lean ground beef, or if you're craving a steak, maybe not a ribeye, but go for a sirloin or a New York strip. Those are very lean and really good. Well, thank you so much for all these different options. And of course, you can find out more information on our website. And uh, thank you so much, Dan. Thank you.